Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Atmospheric Pressure Photoionization, APPI, is a soft ionization method used in mass spectrometry, MS, usually coupled to liquid chromatography, LC. Molecules are ionized using a vacuum ultraviolet, VUV, light source operating at atmospheric pressure, 105 pascals, either by direct absorption followed by electron ejection or through ionization of a dopant molecule that leads to chemical ionization of target molecules. The sample is usually a solvent spray that is vaporized by nebulization and heat. The benefit of APPI is that it ionizes molecules across a broad range of polarity and is particularly useful for ionization of low polarity molecules for which other popular ionization methods, such as electrospray ionization, ESI, and atmospheric pressure chemical ionization, APCI, are less suitable. It is also less prone to ion suppression and matrix effects compared to ESI and APCI and typically has a wide linear dynamic range. The application of APPI with LC-MS is commonly used for analysis of petroleum compounds, pesticides, steroids, and drug metabolites lacking polar functional groups, and is being extensively deployed for ambient ionization, particularly for explosives detection and security applications. Instrument configuration, the figure shows the main components of an APPI source, a nebulizer probe which can be heated to 350 to 500 degrees Celsius, an ionization region with a VUV photon source, and an ion transfer region under intermediate pressure that introduces ions into the MS analyzer. The analytes in solution from the HPLC flows into the nebulizer at a flow rate that can range from ml min to ml min range. The liquid flow is vaporized by nebulization and heat. The vaporized sample then enters into the radiation zone of the VUV source. Sample ions then enter into the MS interface region, frequently a capillary through the combination of a decreasing pressure gradient and electric fields. APPI has been commercially developed as dual ionization sources more commonly with APCI, but also with ESI. Ionization mechanisms The photoionization mechanism is simplified under vacuum conditions. Photon absorption by the analyte molecule, leading to electron ejection, forming a molecular radical cation, M+. This process is similar to electron ionization common to GC-MS, except that the ionization process is soft, i.e., less fragmentation. In the atmospheric region of an LC-MS system, the ionization mechanism becomes more complex. The unpredictable fate of ions is generally detrimental to LC-MS analysis, but like most processes, once they are better understood, these properties can be exploited to enhance performance. For example, the role of dopant in APPI, first developed and patented for the atmospheric ion source of ion mobility spectrometry, IMS, was adapted to APPI for LC-MS. The basic APPI mechanisms can be summarized by the following scheme. Direct positive ion APPI, dopant or solvent-assisted positive ion APPI, the fundamental process in photoionization is the absorption of a high-energy photon by the molecule and subsequent ejection of an electron. In direct APPI, this process occurs for the analyte molecule, forming the molecular radical cation M+. The analyte radical cation can be detected as M+, or it can react with surrounding molecules and be detected as another ion. The most common reaction is the abstraction of a hydrogen atom from the abundant solvent to form the stable M plus H plus cation, which is usually the observed ion. In dopant APPI or photoionization induced APCI, a quantity of photoionizable molecules, e.g., toluene or acetone, is introduced into the sample stream to create a source of charge carriers. Use of a photoionizable solvent can also achieve the same effect. The dopant or solvent ions can then react with neutral analyte molecules via proton transfer or charge exchange reactions. The above table simplifies the dopant process. In fact, there may be extensive ion molecule chemistry between dopant and solvent before the analyte becomes ionized. APPI can also produce negative ions by creating a high abundance of thermal. Electrons from dopant or solvent ionization or by photons striking metal surfaces in the ionization source. 
the cascade of reactions that can lead to M minus or dissociative negative ions. Mx minus often involve O2 as an electron charge carrier. Examples of negative ionization mechanisms include direct or dopant-assisted negative ion APPI history photoionization has a long history of use in mass spectrometry experiments, though mostly for research purposes and not for sensitive analytical applications. Pulse lasers have been used for non-resonant multiphoton ionization, MPI, resonance-enhanced MPI, REMPI, using tunable wavelengths, and single-photon ionization using some frequency generation in nonlinear media, usually gas cells. Non-laser. Sources of photoionization include discharge lamps and synchrotron radiation. The former sources were not adaptable to high-sensitivity analytical applications because of low spectral brightness in the former case and large facility size in the latter case. Meanwhile, photoionization has been used for GC detection and as a source for ion mobility spectrometry for many years, suggesting the potential for use in mass spectrometry. The first development of APPI for LC-MS was reported by Rob, Covey, and Bruins and by Syage, Evans, and Hanold in 2000. APPI sources were commercialized shortly thereafter by Syage and Technology and made available for most commercial MS systems and by SciX for their line of MS instruments. Concurrent to the development of APPI was a similar use of a VUV source for low-pressure photoionization, LPPI, by Syage and co-workers that accepted atmospheric pressure gas phase samples but stepped down the pressure for ionization to about 1 tor, 100 pa, before further pressure reduction for introduction into a MS analyzer. This photoionization method is well suited as an interface between gas chromatography, GC, and MS. Advantages APPI is most used for LC-MS, although it has recently found widespread use in ambient applications such as detection of explosives and narcotics compounds for security applications using ion mobility spectrometry. Compared to the more commonly used predecessor ionization sources ESI and APCI, APPI ionizes a broader range of compounds with the benefit increasing toward the nonpolar end of the scale. It also has relatively low susceptibility to ion suppression and matrix effects, which makes APPI very effective in detecting compounds quantitatively in complex matrices. APPI has other advantages, including a broader linear range and dynamic range than ESI, as seen by the example in the left figure. It is also generally more selective than APCI, with reduced background ion signals as shown in the right figure. This latter example also highlights the benefit of APPI versus ESI in that the HPLC conditions were for nonpolar normal phase, in this case, using N-hexane solvent. ESI requires polar solvents and further hexane, coposin. Ignition hazard for ESI and APCI that use high voltages. APPI works well under normal phase conditions since many of the solvents are photoionizable and serve as dopant ions which allows specialized applications such as separation of enantiomers, right figure. Regarding applicability to a range of HPLC flow rates, the signal level of analytes by APPI has been observed to saturate and even decay at higher solvent flow rates, above 200 mL slash min, and therefore, much lower flow rates are recommended for APPI than for ESI and APCI. This has been suggested to be due to absorption of photons by the increasing density of solvent molecules. However, this leads to the benefit that APPI can extend to very low flow rates, e.g. 1 mL slash min domain, allowing for effective use with capillary LC and capillary electrophoresis. Application